Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, and this is Taurus energy, so you could be dealing with the Taurus. So this is an energy of, le of learning. Um, this is an energy of teaching. There's some sort of spiritual lesson here that is happening. Um, there is someone here who could be really inspired here. It's like they're becoming more in touch with their spirituality, or they're starting to see something from a more spiritual perspective. And there's this also this desire to be in alignment, wanting to connect with people who share the same values or um, align in some way. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Next, you have the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. So you could be dealing with the Pisces. And finally, we have the King of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so there is definitely an energy here of someone who is taking time to really... I'm seeing someone is becoming more in touch with their spirituality. Um, there could be some sort of um, pause or separation with the Hanged Man here. It's like this person is... It's like they're going deep within themselves and they're gaining some sort of new perspective or they're gaining some sort of enlightenment, almost like an epiphany. With the Nine of Cups, I, I do see this bringing some sort of emotional fulfillment. It's like this person is starting to realize what makes them happy and what is more in alignment with them and what is not. So it's like this break or this separation is becoming very fruitful for this person because they are starting to gain a new perspective, a high level perspective as well. This is someone who's starting to value some sort of spirituality and also a value towards commitment. So this person could be, um, it's like the next time they approach you or you get you, there's this energy of not having been in contact with this person for a while, but it's like the next time they approach you, they may be coming at you from a more enlightened or more mature um, approach. Um, there's this energy of this person also being more um, conventional or traditional. There's a lot of growth that has happened here. Um, but I do see this person also becoming more um, more flexible. It's like they're more um, able to see things from other people's perspective. Um, this is also someone who's releasing patterns of codependency. With the Nine of Cups, it's like this person is learning to love themselves. They're learning to um, almost pour into their own cup so it's like this person is becoming less emotionally uh codependent and more com emotionally independent um i do see this person though it's like this they're not gonna wait anymore um there's this long wait that has happened there's been some sort of delay but with the king of wands it's like they needed this time to really pause and look at things from a new perspective before they could take action and with the king of wands it's like they will be taking some sort of confident bold action it's like this person has gained a fresh outlook and it's not they know what they want now and they are going towards their um wish fulfillments with the nine of cups and with the nine the king of wands it's like they're actively pursuing what they desire this is them being in their more masculine energy going for it um and also wanting to commit to this you know it's like this is someone who's going to be dedicated to this if they say they want this they've made their mind up now okay so i'm going to clarify these cards um aries
Yes, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So we have the King and the Queen of Wands. So we are seeing counterpart energy here, and we have the Hierophant. So someone here is definitely seeing you as someone that they are in alignment with. I do see them um, pursuing you. They, they could have made their mind up about you specifically. This person feels attracted towards you. I, I do see them wanting to pursue you. It's like they've gotten some sort of new understanding of the connection they have here, and they are looking at you as the one the one who can be their wish fulfillment and i do see them not wanting to um to um delay this okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this aries okay so we have the knight of cups and this is water energy next you have the seven of pentacles earth energy and finally, we have the Strength card, Leo Energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo. So with the Knight of Cups, so we're seeing someone here who's going to make some sort of extension of a romantic offer, uh, a peace offering, um, some sort of gesture here, a proposal of some sort. Um, I do see this person wants to commit to something long-term with you. With the Seven of Pentacles, they are willing to dedicate themselves to nurture something here. There's a very mature approach here. There is this desire to commit, to, to build something long-lasting and stable, and also to to not cut corners it's like this is someone who definitely wants to build a strong foundation and uh, i do see them coming towards you with some sort of a romantic offer or gesture or a confession of feelings in some way here um this person does it's like they again with the strength card they're seeing some sort of alignment in your in your values your morals your beliefs there's something about how you view the world or how you carry yourself they're, they're seeing you as someone who is actually more compatible with them than their thoughts and they do want to invest in this Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. So the card says emotions are running high super moon so this person i do see someone who is they first going to take some sort of break or pause to really almost get in touch with their emotions it's like this person is really needing some sort of break before they do this it's like they need to go within I, I do see there's a lot of emotional depth that needs to be explored first with this energy okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you aries So the card says playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so this person with the knight of cups they may even be offering to take you out or to do something romantic with you some sort of romantic gesture from them um, I, I do see this person wanting to create a situation where um, you, you can let your guard down or they can feel comfortable to express some sort of emotional um, truth to you um, but there is a seriousness also about their intentions but I do see this person also wanting to romance you okay so I'm going to pull out another the card for you on um, Aries. So the card says strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. So again, we're seeing this energy here of somebody who has undergone some sort of lesson or some sort of, um, you know, awakening in some way with the um, the hanged man there. And it's developed some sort of strength for them. I do see them also feeling like you guys resonate in this way. You, they may have seen you go through something or they just admire your character or how you carry yourself. They see you as someone who shares the same morals and integrity there's something about 
about you they feel it's very much in alignment and they do feel like that you guys could build something very strong you guys could grow together as well this is definitely someone who is raising their vibration in some way and um they are you know it's like they they feel very drawn towards you as well while they do this okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries